He's the man with Hollywood's most elastic face. Jim Carrey made a name for himself in comedy before going on to prove himself as a serious actor. I've been lucky enough to meet Jim once when I interviewed him for Yes Man and he came across as the nicest, most genuine down-to-earth guy. He grew up in Canada where he used to entertain his classmates by doing impersonations of his heroes, people like John Wayne and Jack Nicholson. I've always been into comedy since I was a little kid. I, since I can remember, I've always wanted to be a comedian. When I was a little kid, I, I sent away to a computer program uh, that you could, uh, you could send away to, to to see all the things that you needed to do to, to, to select a, or to uh, ready yourself for a profession. And uh, so I sent away for a comedian. And, uh, you know, it came back like reams of paper came back and all it said was make funny faces and make people laugh. And that's basically what I'm doing, uh -huh. you know. So they were right, but they didn't tell me how to do it. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, so I put on shows in the basement and, you know, entertained the company every time somebody came over. And, you know, my, my parents were completely into it. They loved it. From the basement to comedy clubs. At 17, he moved to L.A. and eventually scored himself a regular gig at the comedy store. Wanting to branch out further, he sought out acting work and won a few minor roles, but it was as part of the TV sketch comedy series In Living Colour that he shone on screen. His big break came with Ace Ventura Pet Detective, a role he originally turned down. I hated the script. I, 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 dis, I, I didn't like the script at all. And uh, they came after me for about two years trying to get me to do the movie. And then finally they came to me and said, you can rewrite it from page one, completely change it. You know, so I sat down with Tom Shadiak and I, and I uh, completely rewrote everything. There's not one word from the original script. And with that, the world discovered Jim Carrey, the man with a rubber face and an ability to create lovable characters. He went on to star in roles perfectly suited to his comedic style in The Mask and Dumb and Dumber. And can you imagine anyone else as the Riddler in Batman Forever? I thought about that. I thought about who I might be. And I think the Riddler is pretty much perfect. It would have been the Riddler or the Joker, you know, one of the two. As the Riddler, he had to learn how to twirl a cane. And while practicing, he not only broke over a dozen prop canes, but smashed up his trailer in the process. Jim also helped design a lot of his costumes with alarming results. I thought I looked a lot like Michelle Pfeiffer, actually. Jim Carrey was the first comedian in history to be paid $20 million for a movie. The Cable Guy was released in 1996. It was directed by Ben Stiller and produced by Judd Apatow, but critics didn't fall in love with it, giving it mixed reviews. With all eyes now on Carey, he still remains pretty calm. I guess there's, there's pressure to perform, but I don't know, I've been in it so long, it's like that pressure doesn't seem that bad to me. It, uh, I, I literally giggle sometimes when I think about like somebody giving me $20 million to make a movie. I mean, it makes me laugh, it's, it's hilarious. And, 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 and you just get to go and have fun. At this time in his career, Carey was making an average of two films per year. And when he's not making movies, he returns to his first love, stand-up comedy. Years ago, I quit for two years and I studied acting and I didn't do stand-up and I didn't do, uh, you know, I didn't do any parts. And, uh, you know, it just came out in different directions. I started painting and I started making figurines and things like that and I realized at that point that it's a disease that I can't help you know it's gonna come out one way or the other yeah. so I might as well be doing what I love to do and pouring the creativity into that you know otherwise it'll be like you know uh, you know you might you know I can make my gun really pretty you know <laughs> while Jim Carrey chooses his roles mostly for artistic reasons he's not blind to the business side of the industry Oh well, yeah, I mean, there's a, there's a certain amount of salesmanship that goes with every project. You have to support, you know, the project you're doing. I mean, you know, especially, uh, uh, you know, I'll be honest with you, I, you know, when you start getting back in, <laughs> there's something in it for you too. I right. mean, it's your business too. In 1998, he took on his first serious role in The Truman Show, a movie about a man who doesn't know he's the subject of his own reality TV show. The career switch won him a Golden Globe. And the winner is... Jim Carrey! Yeah. 
And according to Carey, his character, Truman Burbank's journey, was representative of real life. I think life is a series of uh, challenges and breakthroughs, you know. It's, uh, that's what's so great about this film. It's really symbolic of that. It's symbolic of uh, the idea that along, throughout your life you're going to be, you know, faced with times when you can either uh, choose to do what you love, choose to uh, choose real love, or, uh, or you can sit and be complacent and uh, think that everything's okay or convince yourself that everything's okay. And, uh, and it's, I've had about probably three periods of my life where I've, you know, gone into the abyss and the unknown and not known exactly how it was going to turn out, but trusted and believed in miracles. You often hear actors stating that it's harder to be funny than it is to just act. But Jim found acting in a dramatic role to be more of a challenge than comedy. I think the hard thing about the, the, the dramatic acting is that you, you lay yourself kind of bare, whereas with comedy you come out with a kind of a, an affected personality or something like that. You, you create something that's going to intellectually win, you know, and uh, when, you, when you do a drama you're kind of leaving yourself naked and your essence is out there for everyone in the world to reject or accept. Something he did in Man on the Moon, playing legendary comic Andy Kaufman. It was Kerry's most dramatic role yet, and it didn't go unnoticed. In 2000, he won his second Golden Globe, which he accepted in typical Kerry fashion. You can't shoot a man with a gun, with a gun, with a gun. To me, it almost sounds like Jim could be describing himself. After Man on the Moon, Carey returned to the madcap humour that made him famous in the films Me, Myself and Irene and The Grinch. At the London premiere of The Grinch, he came face to face with the Queen and he admits he was a bit nervous about shaking her hand. They said, take her hand gently, I'm going to try to do that, because I got quite a grip and she <laughs> could go down to one knee and then it'd be all over. In 2003, the successes just kept on coming. Carey starred in the blockbuster Bruce Almighty. And despite his experience, Carey's still not able to tell if he's played a scene well. I myself can't tell sometimes what's right and what's wrong. I, 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 I sit back and look at it and um, I realize that the takes that I thought were so beautiful and genuine and perfect are not real at all. And the ones where I, uh, where I thought I lost my place look so spontaneous and wonderful. It's a very disquieting place to live. You know, when you, you come off camera, you're never satisfied, basically. Clearly a guy in touch with his sensitive side, in the offbeat love story with a moral, eternal sunshine of the spotless mind, Carey's character chooses to have his memories of an ex-girlfriend erased. And all too late, he realises that he's losing the good as well as the bad. I just immediately identified with it. I mean, I, as I think most people will, the concept is just so kind of universal, you know, that everybody has somebody that, some painful memory of a relationship that they'd love to erase, but probably shouldn't, because it's a valuable thing, ultimately, you know, to love anybody for any period of time, you know? So, um, I just thought it was completely original, a, a really original way of, uh, you know, saying that we love who we love and we can't help ourselves. While the role earned him a lot of critical acclaim, Carey's never quite convinced that he's nailed it. I love, love doing it, and I love the result, but I'm never, ever satisfied. I don't think, I think acting is like at, at its best for the person who's doing it is, is a divine dissatisfaction. Jim will go to great lengths to get a scene right. He told me that for Yes Man, he actually snorted Tabasco sauce to create the right moment on film. Unfortunately, his dedication to the craft also led to a few broken bones. I broke three ribs in the uh, bar scene when I, when I hit the waitress and I fall. And it's only because, and I'm very good at falls, I'm very good at prat falls and things, so I had a plan in my head, I had the old Acme blueprint in my head, and uh, I knew what I was going to do until I did it, and then the plan went out the window and I decided I wanted to get all my limbs up into the frame at the same time. And I paid for that one. I got three broken ribs, and uh, but still, I sat down, put a, a, a pack of ice on it, and went, let me see the playback. <laughs> kind of thing. I just wanted to see that it was really cool, you know? Carey continues to switch between comedy and drama. 
But no matter how successful he is as a dramatic actor, comedy will always be his favorite thing. I think it's one of the greatest things in the world to be able to like give people relief and laughter is relief. You know, it's that, it's that kind of thing that when somebody shows you how, how mad the world really is and not to take it seriously, something happens in your body and you just have that reaction, you know? So I'll always love that, you know? He's given us lines and looks that have become part of pop culture and proven himself as both a funny man and a serious actor with heart and soul. Jim Carrey truly is one of Hollywood's brightest stars. Stay tuned to Star Picks for all the movies you know and the actors you love. Broadcast in glorious high definition with 5.1 surround sound where available. For more of the best in entertainment news, check out your movie network channels. It's all together better on screen and at mnc.tv.